So convictions of law enforcement officers for killing someone in the line of duty are rare in this country. And that's the heart of our national debate. Since they are rare, does that equal justice for all involved? A look at the numbers tonight from John Sherrick. The numbers are staggering. First of all, police officers murdered in the line of duty. On average, 85 officers are murdered every year in this country, according to the FBI. Officers putting their lives on the line every day. And then when they use deadly force, those numbers are astounding. Since 2005, there have been more than 13,000 deadly police shootings in the U.S., an average of nearly 1,000 cases a year of officers shooting and killing someone, two or three a day. Most of the fatal police shootings are across the country uh, result in a finding that the officer was legally justified in using deadly force. Criminal justice professor Philip Stinson is a former police officer who is one of the nation's leading authorities on police crime and police integrity. Stinson and the Police Integrity Research Group at Bowling Green State University keep track of deadly police shootings in the U.S. and study them. What have they found since 2005 out of those 13,000 deadly police shootings? A tiny fraction, 106 officers have been charged with murder. Even fewer, 33 of them so far, have been convicted, but not of murder. They were convicted of lesser charges. And four of them so far have been convicted of murder. Four out of 13,000 deadly police shootings since 2005. 25 of the officers charged are still awaiting trial. Dr. Stinson says even when prosecutors present video evidence that they think proves the officer used excessive deadly force, even then, juries rarely convict the officer of murder. Juries are very reluctant to second-guess the split-second life-or-death decisions of police officers in potentially violent street encounters. And his research shows that officers in this country who are convicted of murder or manslaughter are sentenced to serve, on average, 12 and a half years in prison.